Uh, early on, I believe it was my instincts. Um, you know, as the first game, I really got to get in when uh, B.J. Goodson went down my retro year and come in and just kind of um, just play the game. You know, um, coming in, I knew that I was comfortable with the game plan and just coming in, let my instincts kind of take over. I think that helped me uh, play at a high level. But you know, going forward and years after that. Um, me applying, you know, my concepts, my details, my technique, and everything like that. I, I believe it helped me even more than uh, like the first year or the, maybe even the second year. What's been the, the morale of the, the team um, since the loss? Um, I'm sure it's nice to have the extra week off, but it um, must also be tough to wait that long to get that team back in there. Yeah, it's definitely tough, but um, I think it was needed. One, for the loss to just reg resonate with the team and um, everyone get their mind right. And um, I think the week off was beneficial too, just to be able to disengage from the game a little bit, watch some other teams and just kind of refocus and for this last uh, final stretch of the season. Absolutely. You know, um, if we were undefeated, we'd be in the same uh, situation we're in right now. We control our destiny. So I think Coach Winnie um, explaining that to us and really putting that in front of us and understanding that we still control the outcome of our season. Um, I think everyone is uh, appreciative of that. Um, it's adversity, you know. Um, this isn't the, that wasn't the first time this team has faced adversity, but um, I think for the young guys too, it was uh, beneficial to understand, you know, that um, you can lose, and it's all to, it's all about how you respond to those loss, those losses, and what you learn from them, and um, just moving forward because that's not going to be the narrative. Isn't how Clemson lost. Um, it is going to be how we respond this upcoming weekend. So I think guys uh, take into account that and how they play and prepare is definitely going to be helpful. You hear so many like, great athletes and coaches say they hate losing more than they like winning. Do you think, do you think that way too? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Because, I mean, if you play good, it doesn't matter if you played good. If you the Football is a team sport, and no one cares about your accolades as an individual whenever the whole team loses. So the losing definitely sucks more than it does feel, feel good winning. Six years ago, I'm not sure I was thinking about football um, much in any aspect. I was probably just six years ago, I was what, probably middle school? I was probably getting ready for middle school practice. I wasn't really thinking about college football or anything like that. But um, that's a long time, and I hope it's not going to cycle away this round. Is there something about playing the option that you enjoy in particular? Yeah, um, I think that if you do everyone if everyone does their job then um, you have a chance of being successful and for me personally i just feel like um i'm at an advantage because i can really showcase my you know sideline sideline movement and defending the run I know you, you guys work on georgia tech all year long basically in the spring and then in august camp and, and work on cut blocks all the time um how much does the extra week off help you in preparing for that offense um it definitely helpful getting a head start on those guys last week. Um, they cut so much. We can't do enough cut blocks. Um, that's just who they are as a team. Um, we have to be ready for that. And just the little things, this game is going to come down to everyone do doing their assignment because if I try to make a tackle that's not necessarily my tackle to make, it opens up a running lane, and then another guy gets cut off, and then boom, you have a big gain. So I think everyone's just locking into their job and their assignment is going to be critical for the success of this game. I think it'll be ready. You know, it's definitely going to be a tough challenge um, playing the triple option for the first time. But uh, the key to the game is just staying on your feet and getting off blocks and making plays and doing your job. What have you had a chance to see with Marshall so far as the quarterback? Um, they're throwing a lot more than um, I've seen in previous years. You know, um, he's very fast. He's a very good competitor. And um, that's the thing about Georgia Tech. They don't they don't lose anyone. They just kind of reload, kind of like Clemson. And so you have to respect all their players um, as runners and the receivers as um, potential pass threats because you have to be, keep the game honest. And um, our d defensive backs know they're going to be challenged. You know, um, our, run, our linebackers and D linemen we're going to have to be gap sound. So it's going to be a good challenge. Uh, 
I, w- I wouldn't say there's an uh, unspoken rivalry or anything like that. I just believe that it's um, it's a good game that um, both teams come uh, prepared for and uh, enjoy competing against each other. No, no, I wouldn't say any differently. He, um, when he got when he first got here, he obviously said um, understanding and learning the triple option was obviously difficult for him, um, like it was for any young player to understand that as well. So, but after after his years of um, playing against them and seeing how they defend, I think he has a good idea of who they are as a team and putting us in uh, the right calls to be successful. Does the preparation that you noticed pretty much stay the same under him for the option every year, or is it almost like a Um, it depends. Usually, for the most part, it's the same. However, you know, um, Georgia Tech is a smart team. Um, they're going to throw in some new wrinkles here and there to keep you honest as a defense. So, um, obviously, our defense has to adjust accordingly. What, what were the qualities a year ago that allowed you all to overcome a loss in the pit late? And do you see the same qualities? Um, I think it's just guys' attitude. Um, I th- feel like when we came back from that bye weekend, um, you could just tell the morale and the energy on the team was just kind of refocused. You know, uh, I f- feel like that bye week came in at a good time in the season. Um, everyone got got healthy. Their bodies are just kind of ready to be back in the action of things. Just knowing how much pride you guys take in the defense, not only being good and successful, but elite, one of the best in the country. That's probably the wrong word. Were you guys embarrassed at all as a unit after the Syracuse game? Just by the way you put a lot of yards, a lot of first downs, and yeah, it's definitely embarrassing. Um, but you know, each play is one game mentality or one play mentality. There was obviously some good in the game, but there was definitely more bad in the game because we lost and we didn't give our offense a chance to go down the field and go for a field goal or put points on the board or anything like that. But um, that's not who we are as a defense, and I think our defense understands that. And it's kind of an aberration of who we are. And you know, um, mistakes happen, and we own those mistakes, and we just can't got to get corrected and can't go back backwards. Is that added an extra spark coming into preparation that did last week and then this week too? Um, I wouldn't say any more of a spark than it is every other week just because I sh- try to do a good job of bringing the same uh, energy week in and week out so you don't prepare for a team um, any more or, or any less than you did the week before. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, absolutely.